so a very warm welcome everyone our today's objective is to get started with integration of our machine learning model with a web application as you all know we have deployed a cloud server over that cloud server we have deployed anaconda navigator which contains all the machine learning library and we have uploaded our machine learning model which is casualty severity prediction model.py file we have also made a test of casualty severity prediction by passing arguments by passing the parameters as arguments to the model file and the model file was predicting the casualty severity for us okay now what we need to do we need to design a web application and we need to use uh, we need to send the parameters in form of a request to the server so that the model receives the request it processes the request and finally it returns an output to the client so let's proceed with this i'm sharing my screen with all the participants and i'm taking you to our notes and videos now here over the notes if we quickly refer the previous things which i have which we have done uh here i have uploaded certain projects as well for your reference now we have done this in yesterday session so we have a server on 107.23.116.217 so let us quickly connect that with devanshu casualty.ppa file so i'm going to open my server putty putty is a ssh client using which we can connect to server we have to specify the username and the ip address is 107.23.116.217 in the ssh authentication we have to define our casualty file so we'll quickly open we'll define our devanshu casualty.ppk file in order to connect the server and we'll open the shell let me just quickly connect again Okay, here. So let me just quickly connect with Putty client again. EC two hyphen user at one zero seven dot twenty three dot one one six dot two one seven, and I need to pass the authentication, which is Devanshu underscore casualty dot ppk file. Let me open the connection again. Now it is asking for the passphrase. Okay, so let's specify our username and password A B C D E one two three four five, and we have logged into the server. Okay, now what we need to do? So here we have already tested our model with certain parameters, and just to ensure that it is working well, I would like to again take you to the model file. on world wide web html directory we have casualty severity prediction model.py file this is the model which we have to use and we have to create a web interface which can communicate to this model we can pass the parameters as arguments to this model and we are going to calculate the severity okay we have approximately 8 parameters which i would like to show you before proceeding further now these parameters are i have attached a screenshot for your reference okay let me just show you the parameters so we have to specify certain parameters and the parameters are
Okay, these are the parameters which you need to pass in. For systems argument, we will be utilizing these parameters. Okay, so first you need to pass how many number of vehicles are there. What is the type of surface, the lighting condition, the weather condition, who's the victim, driver, passenger, or the rider, or the pedestrian, and sex of the casualty victim, age of the victim, and type of vehicle, okay. what type of wheeler vehicle it is. So we have to pass in these following arguments. Is that clear? So let's quickly test that. So here, I would like to pass in my parameters here. Let me just quickly push it here so that that will be easy for all of you to observe. Okay, so what am I going to do? I'm going to run my model using slash user slash anaconda. Within that, we have binary directory. Within that, we have Python 3. We have to run size prediction. We have to run casualty severity prediction model. And we have to pass in certain arguments. So the first argument we have to pass is the number of vehicles. Consider number of vehicles as there are six vehicles on board. The surface is bad. The lighting conditions are also bad. The weather conditions are also bad. The victim is the driver. The sex of the victim is male. Age of the victim is 16, 17 years old, let's say. And the type of the vehicle involved is a six wheeler vehicle. Okay. Or it's let's say two wheeler vehicle. So once we specify these arguments to the model, the model predicts the casualty severity for us. And it says this condition could be a severe condition. Okay. Because if the lighting conditions, surface conditions, weather conditions are bad, and if, uh, if it's a two wheeler, then the casualty could be a severe casualty if more number of vehicles are involved. Okay. We've got this output. Now, what we need to do. We need to test this model with a web request, okay? Which means user is going to send a request from his browser. The request is going to be received at the server side. The received, the request will be received by your Apache server using a backend application or using a backend code. So the backend code will be, let's say a PHP code which we see right to read the get request and we'll get We'll give this get request to the model. Okay. The model is going to receive the parameters, it is going to process it, and it's going to return the output to my client. And the client is going to see the output on the web browser. Okay. So that's what we'll be doing it. So I hope everybody is clear. So let's proceed. Now, in order to do that, first of all, I would like to take you to a simulator and I would like to draw what you will be doing. In. So on one end, I'll be having this server. On one end, I'm going to have this casualty severity model. Let me draw a server for you here first. So there will be a server, there will be clients, there will be a network cloud in between somewhere here. Okay. And the client will look somewhat like this. That's that client is going to send a request from his browser. Okay, and you will have a server at one end 
which will be which will receive the request and is going to respond. Okay, this is going to be the scenario. So let's make the connection. So here, using the network, a request will go to the server. And if you would like to visually identify it, so through the browser, we are going to send a request and it's going to be received at the server side and the server is going to respond. Okay, now let me just save this image because I need to use it. Now what we are going to do, let's have a look. So first, this is your Amazon Web Services platform, okay? Amazon Services EC2 service provides you to create virtual cloud. The virtual operating system, which we have created on EC2 is a Kali Linux OS which is our server operating system. Over this Kali Linux operating system, there is a server program running, which is an Apache server. Okay. Now this Apache server is capable of receiving get and post and other HTTP requests from the clients. Okay. It can receive get request, post request. So get request generally comes through a URL. All the parameters are visible in the URL. And a post request goes like a wrapper, which means you're going to connect to a path and all the parameters will go in a background the request. The parameters are not visible on the URL. Okay. So you're going to see both how get request and post request are sent. Generally, when we create an interface, okay, a web interface, so web interface is going to receive the parameter from the user and then a post request is going to be formed and then that post request will be sent to the server. Server is going to receive it and is going to process it. So now what we are going to have. So at the server side, we need certain modules to support one of the most uh, used programming language, which is PHP. Nowadays, you can use Node.js, Python, Django, and there are so many other options. Okay. But PHP being one of the easiest, so you, you can quickly take requests, connect with the model, and it's very quick. Okay. So let's, you have to uh, install, install support for PHP on Apache server. Then, we're going to create a file. Let's say the name of the file will be predict.php. This predict.php is going to receive parameters, receive params, parameters. These parameters will be your vehicle, your uh, the road condition, light condition, weather conditions, and all of this. Okay. And it's going to execute, execute model and receive a response, okay? And receive response, okay? You're going to execute the model and you're going to receive the response. Give me the... Is that clear? So this is what we are going to do. Execute the model and receive the response. And finally, it will return response to client. Or you can say to the browser. So this is what you're going to do. These will be the steps which you need to perform. Okay. From the client side, once the server is ready for all these processes, once you are done with installation of PHP support, once you are done with creating a predict.php file, which can receive the parameters, then you will execute the model through PHP and receive the response. Then to return the response to the client. Once you're ready with the server side, 
then you have to go for the client side testing or else creation of an interface which a client is going to use okay now on the left hand side you have a client and there could be n number of clients in the world who can access your server depending on the capacity of your server okay if you have a client let's call it as a windows os client with chrome browser installed okay then what you do navigate to server okay and predict casualty severity severity using parameters provided okay you're going to navigate to the server predict the casualty severity using the parameters provided okay so you get request from pehle bhejenge in the first attempt second use casualty product web interface and get response and receive response so those steps ab aap client side pe karoge okay this is going to be your implementation so the hp interface is it the interface interface is html css okay j javascript they provide the front end interface php is a back end language okay php python django node js these are back end languages the front end will be coded in html css and javascript which will do okay now what you are going to do so from this server consider here you are going to specify the ip address okay let's say this is your ip address you are going to navigate to 107.23.116.217 then you are going to send a request to predict.ph okay and you are going to send certain parameter first parameter vehicle okay consider the first parameter you are going to send is vehicle let's say we will have six vehicles in the accident okay then you have to pass the second parameter consider the second parameter let me just open that image for you so that that will be easy for you all to observe okay consider these are the parameters which we have to यहां पे एक बार आई कीप इट ऑन द लेफ्ट हैंड साइड सो दैट यू ऑल कैन ऑब्जर्व दिस विल बी द पैरामीटर्स व्हिच वी हैव टू सेंड फ्रॉम द रिक्वेस्ट ओके सो फर्स्ट इज व्हीकल आई गोइंग टू पास व्हीकल ओके सेकंड पैरामीटर विल बी अ सरफेस पैरामीटर लेट्स से सो सरफेस इज गोइंग टू बी लेट मी जस्ट पुट इट हियर okay you're going to pass the surface parameter let's say surface is going to be a bad surface 3 then with an and operator you're going to pass the lighting condition lighting conditions are also bad let's say then the next parameter you're going to pass will be a weather parameter weather parameter is also bad weather condition and then what type of victim it is let's say is it a pet train driver or a rider or a passenger so the victim will be the driver okay then you are going to define the sex of the casualty so sex of the casualty will be male okay then you are going to provide age of the casualty that's the age of the casualty will be 17 and finally 
you are going to have the type of the vehicle. So the type of the vehicle involved is a two wheeler. Okay. So these are the parameters. Let me just copy this request so that you all will also be able to send the request easily to the server. Okay. And I'm going to explain you that. Parameters. So let's say. So there is a predict.php file. Okay. There's a predict.php file which we are going to define here. And this predict.php is this. This is going to be available on the server. Then you're going to receive certain parameters, like you're going to receive a vehicle parameter. You're going to send this parameter from the browser to the server. Okay. Server is going to receive this in PHP. Vehicle, surface, light, weather. And PHP is going to pass all these parameters using execute model and receive response. So when you execute the model, it is going to pass the parameter to the model. And whatever response is coming, it is going to read this response and return back to the browser. You're going to receive the response on the browser. Is that clear? Now let me just save that to you. I hope this is clear. Now let's see. Okay. Now let me just copy this request for your reference on the notes. Okay, clear And in today's topics, now what you need to do? Deploy and integrate cacheability severity prediction model. Prediction model. This is your 17 July 2009. And here is the request format. Get request format. Okay. This is going to be your get request format. So you're going to have predict.php vehicle six, surface, light, weather, victim, sex, age, type. You're going to pass all these parameters to the server. Is that clear? Okay. And server is going to receive this. Okay. Now let's code it. So first of all, I would like to create a predict.php file, which is going to receive all these parameters. Okay. Now to do that, we use a browser, uh, sorry, an integrated development environment known as brackets. Brackets naam ka hume integrated development environment use kar. Okay. <clears throat> Clear? It's going to receive all these parameters and we are going to Integrate that with a web application. Is that clear? Chale. So now let's quickly start brackets ID. I've already told you to download brackets. Okay. If you don't have brackets available, you can quickly go here. You all have to download brackets ID. Okay. Go to Google and download brackets. Brackets is a modern open source code editor which has some nice features like live preview system so that you can design your application well. Okay. You can connect your application well. It gives you suggestion for options. So it is very easy for you to write the code without any spelling mistakes. Because when it comes to front end designing, you need to write a lot of code. Okay. So you can open brackets.io. 
and you can download brackets from here. Okay, you can click here and download brackets. So you all can quickly start downloading bracket. So I'll define here. Okay, one. Download and install brackets from here. Then we're going to create predict.php file using brackets ID. Okay. So, you have to brackets download karna hai download karne ke sabhi log. and then you have to create predict.php file using brackets ID. So, let's begin. So, once brackets is installed, you're going to open brackets. You can run brackets as an administrator. Okay, are you all done with the download? Okay. Now let's say. So I'll do one thing. I have to get started on brackets with a project known as Casualty Severity Project. Okay. Casualty Severity Project can answer make project design the answer. To do that, I'll go to let's say my C drive. Okay. Under C drive, I would like to make a project with the name Casualty Severity Prediction. So I'm going to make a new folder. Let's go to new, create a new folder and call this folder as casualty severity prediction. Okay. Casualty severity prediction naam ka mene folder bana hai. and I'm going to create all my codes here. Be it PHP code, be it HTML, CSS, JavaScript code for the front end connectivity. All codes I would like to keep under this directory casualty severity prediction. Okay. So that will make my life easy. So as to keep all my important files in a directory. And then I'm going to zip it and upload it on the server. And there I will extract it and my project will be ready. Moreover, you can use uh, secure file transfer protocol as well as to code it on local machine and quickly upload it on the server. Now, I'll show you those options also, how you can do that. So now what we have to do is within brackets, I have to navigate to this project directory. Okay. So you can go to file and you can go to open folder option. Go to open folder and you have to go to your casualty severity prediction directory. So let's select the folder and now you can see that your project casualty severity prediction is open now, which is empty at the moment because we have to get started with creation of the code. Sum. Now within this, the first code which I would like to start is to create a new file with the name predict.php. Okay. We'll right click. We're going to create a new file. And let's name this file as predict.php. Okay. We're going to create a new file with the name predict.php. 
So now what this predict.php file will do, this predict.php file will be running on your server. Let me just open the document screenshots for you. Okay, consider this is your server. So now I would like to start writing my predict.php file here. Let me just hide this predict.php and I would like to keep it here. Okay, here you are going to create your predict.php file, which is going to receive certain parameters. Clear? Is that clear? Predict.php file आपने create किया। So आपके पास browser से parameters आएंगे predict.php के पास और predict.php यहाँ पे इन parameters को receive करे। Okay. Now to quickly get started with PHP code within predict.php, the first thing we have to do is you have to define a PHP hyper preprocessor. Any code written between question mark PHP and question mark will be processed as PHP and all other outside this symbol will be processed as a normal hypertext. Okay, normal text. So is PHP code ke andar abhoon apna code shuru kar. The first thing we have to do is we have to receive some parameters which are coming from the user request. So user will be sending parameters like vehicle, surface, light, weather, victim, sex, age, type. We are going to receive those parameters. Okay. When a request comes from a browser like this, when the parameters are available in the URL itself, this is the get request. But if the parameter goes in a package and it is not reflected on the URL, then that format of a request is a post format. So as of now, I would like to receive a get request. Okay. To receive the get request, let's get started. In PHP, you can receive the get request using dollar underscore get feature. Okay. Using dollar underscore get, you can receive the get request. You can read the get request using this dollar underscore get. Okay. From this get request, I would like to read a parameter. So you have to define the same parameter which will be passed here. Okay, show you that. So consider, after you have the parameter passed here, vehicle. The same parameter has to be received, but server side will be coded first. So server will respond to a user's or a client request when the appropriate parameter is passed. Okay, so let's see. So we are going to define vehicle here. Vehicle. We are going to receive the vehicle request. Okay, so the, both the parameters, the parameters specified in the URL should be same as the parameter which we are trying to read from the get. I think this is clear to everyone. Clear as a people. Now I'm going to save it on a local variable. And let's name the local variable as vehicle as well, so that it is easy for us to remember. So when you create a vehicle in Python, you do not need to specify any any uh, any data type. Same goes with PHP. PHP is also implicit. Okay, whatever data you will store, it will automatically become of that type. But when you create a variable in PHP, you need to use a dollar symbol before constants are used with dollar underscore and variables are used with single dollar. Okay. So get request is a constant request. It's, it's not going to change when it's with you. Okay. But this is your variable vehicle, which you're going to read. save the value into vehicle and you're going to pass this parameter to your model. Okay. Now in the same way, let us receive other parameters also. Okay. So, the additional parameters have us. Let me just quickly open that thing. So, I have the following parameters available. Okay. So, after vehicle, 
the next parameter i have to pass in is surface after surface you have light weather victim and so on okay and they are also available over here at the top so let's receive it and at the end of this statement you have to specify a execution operator in python it is not required because it is an indented language but php is not indented yahan pe aapko har line ke baad semicolon lagana padega okay this is the end line of it. now let's receive the second parameter dollar underscore get and this is surface the second parameter which we are going to receive is surface and let's save it onto a variable known as surface the third parameter will be light dollar underscore get receive the light parameter okay you can name these parameters as per your own choice it's not a problem it depends on your requirement but when a client is going to send a request then all the parameters should be available and the value should be available so that they can be reached they can be received otherwise null is going to be scored so when you get dollar underscore get light we are going to read the value of light light okay we are going to store it onto a local variable followed by you are going to receive weather so let's consider the weather condition okay and you are going to save that into weather but weather followed by that you are going to read the victim dollar underscore get victim okay dollar let's call it as victim okay then after victim you are going to receive the sex parameter okay dollar underscore get you are going to receive the parameter let us sex save that into sex and after that you will to receive the age parameter dollar underscore get age parameter save that into age okay and finally going to get the type of the vehicle in front okay i hope this is clear so now all the parameters which you have passed from this url here okay whether victim all these values will come and they will be stored so let's say aapne yahan se age pass kiya 70 now this age let's say aapne vehicle pass kiya value 6 so value 6 will now be stored into this dollar vehicle okay so we are going to read the get request we are going to read the vehicle parameter and the value of that parameter we are going to store on a local variable dollar vehicle this is clear so this we are doing on server side because this predict.php is going to receive the request okay but before that you need to remember we have to install support for php on the server side of it okay clear now so once you are done with that now what we are going to do once we have received these parameters we are going to execute the app okay how we do that let's have a look so on the next next line you are going to execute the model you are going to execute the model okay is that clear to execute the model you're going to call system command there's a function known as system with which you can execute any system command available on linux it could be a ping command it could be make directory command it could be any command you can execute but for me i would like to execute python 3 with my casualty severity model i want to pass all the parameters vehicle surface light weather to this model and i would like to read the response sorry okay so within double quotes let's specify to so first i have to specify the command so from the user directory 
from Anaconda. I'll go to Bin and I'm going to run Python 3. Okay, I'm going to run Python 3. I'm going to give a space. Then I'm going to specify my model, which is casualty severity prediction model.py. Casualty underscore severity underscore prediction underscore model dot phi. I'm going to use a space so that concatenate now Jamiri command, file name, arguments. Yes, I'm going to concatenate now ho jayin. Due is a max space for wrong. Now, after a space, I would like to read the first parameter, which is vehicle. First of all, vehicle pass karunga, the surface, the light, the weather, victim, sex, age, and time. All these variables I'm going to pass. And I would like to keep a space between all these parameters. Okay. So for this, what am I going to do? I'm going to use dot operator. This dot operator is a concatenation operator. This dot operator that you are seeing this is known as a concatenation operator. It can concatenate variables with a string. So, abhi jo humne Python three casualty severity prediction model pass kiya hai, ye ek string hai. Is string ke saath mein ham apne vehicles ko concatenate karenge. Then we will concatenate the surface, concatenate the light, concatenate the light, concatenate the light, concatenate the light. So we are going to concatenate all these variables. Okay. Let's do that. So I am going to concatenate vehicle. I have concatenated vehicle. Concatenation operator end here. A second string attached to. String makes space gives. This space is made here. So that when I concatenate the vehicle and the surface, there will be a space between the two. No, it will chip up. Then the command will not be executed. Okay? Because we have to give every index to an argument. Okay? So I have given a space. Post from the request. They are read as get request. Dollar underscore get. We are reading the get request. Post. Now, when we are sending it, it will be $$_post. The format is the same. Okay. So, it depends on which client side is the request. So, if you are sending a post request, then you will have a post wrapper. So, I will show you with the post also. Okay. Okay. So, I will show you with the post also. Vehicle. Second, we have concatenated the surface. Concatenation is done. A string attached. A space is given. Then, I have concatenated slide. Sorry, light. Okay. Then we have concatenated weather. I've given a space. Then I've concatenated victim. Then I've given a space. Then I've concatenated sex of the patient. Given a space. Then I've concatenated age. And finally, I have concatenated type. Okay. Ye to maine sab concatenate kar diye. So PHP kya karega? Python three use karke casualty severity prediction model ko run karega. Aur ye sare parameters de dega. Jaise ye command execute hogi, ek output aayega. Casualty severity is slight severe or fatal, whatever it is. So, the output I have to read it back in PHP. Okay. For that, we have to use one more space. Output is two. Output stream जो आती है आपकी, उसको हम two बोलते हैं. ठीक है. Two is the second process, which is the child process which has been called. Python three is casualty model जो आपने run किया है, उसका जो output आएगा, that will come in two. Output stream बोलते हैं. Two stands for output. Now we are going to read this output stream into the input stream of first process, which is predict dot read. So Python जो output execute करेगा, we are going to read that output stream and we are going to send that output stream to the input stream one of the main process. Okay. 
बस जैसे आप इसे एग्जीक्यूट करोगे गेट द आउटपुट रेड इन पी एच पी एन यूर टू गेट दैट डिस्प्ले ऑन सर्व क्लियर ओके सेव कर दीजिए कंट्रोल एस नाउ योर कोड इज सेव एंड इफ यू वुड लाइक टू अंडरस्टैंड अ लिटल मोर आई विल शो यू दैट एज वेल अब यहां पर क्या है जब आपने सिस्टम कमांड से एग्जीक्यूट किया सो वेन यू कॉल सिस्टम कमांड जब आप सिस्टम कमांड कॉल करो तो सिस्टम कमांड ये रन करिए ठीक है यूजर एनाकॉन्डा बिन पाइथन एग्जीक्यूट मॉडल डॉट पी एच ओके फिर ये जो बाकी पैरामीटर्स हैं, ये पैरामीटर्स आपने इस फॉर्मैट पर कंकैटिनेट कर दिया वहीकल सर्फस लाइट वेदर विक्टिम सेक्स एज एन एम अब जैसे ही कमांड एग्जीक्यूट होगी बैकएंड में ये आउटपुट आएगा कैजुअलिटी सीवियरिटी दिस इज द आउटपुट स्ट्रीम ऑफ योर पाइथन प्रोग्राम एंड दिस आउटपुट स्ट्रीम इज टू ओके वेम टू रीड दिस आउटपुट स्ट्रीम एंड वेम टू रिसीव इट इन द करेंट प्रोग्राम विच इज क्रेडिट डॉट पी एच इज दट यूर आई होप दिस इज क्लियर टू ऑल द पार्टिसिपेंट अब हमने सर्वर साइड पे प्रोडिक्ट डॉट पी एच पी हमने बना दिया ओके बट अब इसे रन करने के लिए आपके पास वो होना चाहिए क्या कहते हैं सर्वर साइड पे पी एच पी का सपोर्ट होना चाहिए ओके लेट्स गो टू द सर्वर और करते हैं पी एच पी का सपोर्ट सो वॉट यू हैव टू डू ओपन योर सर्वर दिस इज योर सर्वर ऑन दिस सर्वर You have to install support for PHP first. So I came out. Okay. We have to install support for PHP. so to install php support with respect to this server let me just quickly share the packages which are required ओके, यू नीड पी एच पी सेवन पॉइंट जीरो आपको चाहिए एंड यू नीड सम अपाचे मॉड्यूल्स एज वेल सो लेट मी जस्ट क्विकली टेल यू यू नीड पी एच पी सेवन पॉइंट जीरो एंड लाइव अपाचे टू मॉड पी एच पी to come out of www directory you can use cd space backslash okay so what you need to do let's install sudo or else what i'll do is i'll type it first in your note in your notes so once you have created predict.php third install php modules for apache server on cloud so for that you need to use this command sudo apt get install let's say you are going to install php 7.0 php 7.0 and live apache 2 up 
for apache 2 we're going to install the module php live apache 2 mod php we're going to install these two libraries php 7.0 and live apache 2 module with php support for apache okay once you're done with that then you're going to upload predict.php on server server and in step number 5 you're going to test the model with a web based get request from chrome from client browser okay ye five steps abhi aap third fourth and fifth step you are going to do okay is that clear so let's go for it <coughs> so here is the server on the server side let's install sudo apt get install php 7.0 and live apache 2 mod php okay let's install these libraries so this is the installation support for php so let's run it so it is it says 244 kb of additional space will be used to install it i say yes so finally the php support is now installed on the server the session is live in case if you miss somehow anything you can use the live video and play back piche rakh ke aap dekh sakte hain all the people those who are connected online they can also open your youtube channel the video is broadcasting live so what you can do is you can you can crawl it back in case if you miss anything okay till now it is clear so you have got the php support now within web world wide web html directory we have to upload our predict.php so what we can do let me just quickly upload my predict.php here first of all i'll upload it on trello from my local machine go to computer and in my c drive under the project casualty severity prediction i have predict.php which i will upload here okay so i have uploaded the predict.php file here and i would like to copy this link copy this link and save it on cloud okay I have to upload this file. I'll go to cd slash web world wide web html directory, and I'm going to use this command sudo wget, and I would like to define the URL of predict dot ph. sudo wget from Trello attachments dot s three dot Amazon dot com. We are going to get. Predict dot php down. Clear. Let's press enter. So we have got predict dot php uploaded on the server. Clear. We have got this file running. Red dot php. Now, now we have to test the mod. 
So we have our Chrome request here. Okay. And we have our server running here. Okay. On this server, if we do LS, we have casualty severity model as well as predict.ph. Both the files are now available. And I would like to pass this request. I'm sending this request to all of you on chat also. So that you can test. So if there will be any error, either we are going to get that on our browser or else there is one more directory known as var log apache to error.log. Uske andar jaake, hum apne errors check kar sakte. In case if there is any error in the code. Because it may happen that you have to debug it a lot of times, okay? So now what I'll do, I'll send this request, I've pressed enter. A request has been sent to the server. And now the server is responding me that the casualty severity is severe. Okay. Can you see that? So this is the response which we are getting. Now, if you want to change this response, casualty severity is severe too, you can do that change in your model dot what kind of response you want. Just if you want to return severe, slight, or fatal, you can do that. You can modify that in cash severity prediction model. So now you can see that as soon as a user opens a browser, he sends a request, all the parameter goes to the server, server receives the parameters, they send it to the model, model processes it, and the output gets calculated and the output is responded back to the server. Now, as of now, this becomes a service. Suppose you want to make an API, application programmer interface. So this is considered as an API. Predict.php is an API now. You can give it to a developer and you can tell him that you can send a GET request to us with all these parameters and we'll respond you back. So you can design your own interface. You can say a developer, you can design your own interface and you can take a subscription plan for us. Uh, for a package of 5,000 rupees, we can allow 20 requests or 50 requests or 1,000 requests a month like Google does. Google is API, you can request request on that basis. You can generate the output on that basis. He does not share the code with you. He only share the service with you. Okay? Is it getting service? So, you can also send this. So, when you have a research, you don't need to make a research. You don't need to make an interface. You can make an API. You make a server and make a list of all the APIs. You make a server and make a list of all the APIs. एक अच्छा सा डॉक्यूमेंटेशन बना लो कि अगर ये एपीआई यूज करें तो गेट रिक्वेस्ट सेंड तू दिस पेज विद ऑल द पैरामीटर्स एंड वे आर गोइंग तू गिव यू द आउट ओके इज दैट क्लियर समझ में आया बट लेट्स से यू आर नॉट डन टिल येट इफ यू वांट तू मेक अ प्रोडक्ट लाइक ए यूजर प्रोडक्ट यू � an actual product which a user should come to your site, should provide the inputs, and should get the output. You can do that also. Okay. But in the industry, there are services API subsets. Because you can make more APIs in different use cases. Okay, like people do it. Spam check. So, on their site, the email ID came. The email ID they gave to the website. वो वेबसाइट ने चेक किया अपने मॉडल्स और सिर्फ रेस्पॉन्ड कर दिया सही है या नहीं एंड दे चार्ज अ लॉट ऑफ मनी फॉर दैट एंड आई विल शो यू एन एग्जांपल फॉर दैट ओके लोग क्या करते हैं आई होप टिल नाउ दिस इज प्रीडी क्लियर टू एवरीवन नाउ आई वुड लाइक टू शो यू एन एग्जांपल ओके लेट्स से विथ मशीन लर्निंग यू कैन क्रिएट एज मेनी केसेस यू वांट I'm showing you one. There is this nice website. 
zero bounds. Zero bounds is considered as one of the finest email validation. You would like to check the email valid hai, invalid hai, spam hai, kya hai. I'll show you. So email ke bahut saare aapko data sets mil jayenge. Depending on that, you can define ki aap kaise karna chahte hain email validation. So let's say I would like to log into zero bounds members login. So this is my account. Here is the API keys and info. So for every individual user, it gives an API. Okay, ये मेरी API की यहाँ पे है, जिसके through I connect to the zero bounds server. So I send a request to zero bounds server and I pass in an uh, uh, I pass the parameter to this. I'll show you where the code is. Okay. So let's say. We'll go to the buy credit section, and I would like to show you. So let's say what they do. Currently, I have seventeen hundred twenty mail validations left. So for two thousand credits, they charge fifteen dollars month. Just they receive an email as a parameter, they validate it, and they just respond whether it is. So if you are a machine learning expert, you can make a product wherein you can. Pass in them that this is the uh, request format. Now, what request format they they offer? यहाँ पे है API dashboard. So ये तो अच्छा मेरा daily का मेरा अलग अलग dashboard है किस दिन कितनी validate हुई हैं कितनी valid email IDs आई हैं कितनी invalid email आई हैं इस तरीके से एक stacks बना देते हैं. You can create the graphs easily with Matplotlib as you have already understood. Okay. अब Uh, एक मैं आपको इंटीग्रेशन दिखाता हूं सो दे हैव सो मेनी इंटीग्रेशन फॉर्मेट्स अवेलेबल फॉर डिफरेंट वेबसाइट्स बट एक सिंपल सा दिखाता हूं हाउ इजीली इट कुड बी डन थैंक यू मच यू सर Okay, here is the API reference. So here it. राइट साइड में शायद आ रहा था डिलीवरी काम कोड्स या या ठीक है जैसे मान लीजिए ये एक वैलिडेट ईमेल का है ठीक है ये वैलिडेट की एक रिक्वेस्ट सो वैलिडेशन रिक्वेस्ट में क्या होता है API dot zero pounds dot net के validate function को एक request जाता है। उसमें आपकी API की जाती है और email address जाता है और IP address। IP address की भी जरूरत नहीं है सिर्फ आप अपनी validate valid key और email ID आपके दे सकते हैं। और इस request के response में वो आपको एक return करता है out so the api will return the result in json format to kai sari return karta hai address status kya hai valid hai invalid hai cache hai unknown hai spam hai abuse hai ye kya hai so ye iska format okay to aap ek badhiya sa documentation bana ke aapne api bana so what people will do they will use it and they'll pay you money for every and machine learning then create apis for a lot of okay and if you have an accurate API, then you are going to earn a lot of money. If you have 99% validations, hai, email ke, you can earn a lot of money. People are earning it. Okay. And this is a very big issue hai, because in today's date, mein marketing is done on the basis of mails and contact numbers. And if you are getting bad, then your database is corrupt. Then you send it, then your 
एरर साइन यूज में मार्केटिंग कैंपेन्स में रॉन्ग ईमेल एड्रेसेस होंगे तो दिस इज अ वेरी कॉमन थिंग एंड एवरी बिजनेस टेक्स ईमेल एड्रेसेस ओके सो दिस इज एन एग्जांपल ऑफ व्हाट यू कैन डू टू अर्न मनी क्लियर एंड दीज आर वेरी सिंपल थिंग्स तो आप समझ गए हो कि किस तरीके से फ्रंट एंड और बैक एंड कनेक्ट होता है ओके आई होप दिस कॉन्सेप्ट इज क्लियर now so as of now what i want is i want ki api ke bajaye it's better that i should code an interface so let's create a web based interface for this product casualty severity prediction okay to do that what next we need to do now we need a create design for a user who would like to use okay so let's proceed let's go to create a design to design i have already shared you the credentials for design mode have i shared design mode credentials with you okay so i'm sharing it now with you okay now after testing the model let us create create a web design for machine learning product casualty severity prediction we are going to create a web design so for design we use an enterprise level design generator from design moto dot design moto is an influencer in web design all over the world is a very high influencer in the world all the latest web designs which are being observed with high user experience with high user interaction design moto works on that stuff if you don't have that time to work on graphics and to identify what works best today what is the trend of a website you can directly go to design moto website and you're going to grab the latest trend. so they have a product known as slides with which we can quickly generate a template as per our requirement then we can put it on the server we can modify the code and we can integrate that with the request and we can make a product out of it okay so the username is admin at hackwithadotton and the password is Act with a one, two, three, four, five. Okay. So you can quickly open designmodo. dot com. And you can log in to admin at act with a dot in. and the password is given now so let's go so we'll open this link in a new tab it will ask you for username and password when you log in you will reach to this page where you can choose your slide as per your requirements okay so since this is a casualty severity prediction product i would like to take a input form so that i can take some user inputs depending on the number of vehicles it has what kind of weather conditions are there what kind of uh, light conditions are there and all that stuff i would like to okay
Is that clear? So let's go to the form based. There are so many options. You can select the header types. You can tell select feature product based designs. Okay. These are the feature products. And then you can display your products at the right, at the left, at the center, depending on your requirements. They have a lot of great design styles. Okay. Now I would like my current requirement is to go with a form style. You can explore this a little later. We'll be quick so as to design our product. Now here you can see that. I would like to get started with casualty severity prediction. When as soon as my website loads up, I would like to show casualty severity prediction, what our product does. And then I would like to take the input parameters from the user. He is going to click on predict severity. We are going to grab the output. At the top right corner, you can quickly see what all slides have been selected. So this is the first page on the website. You can select as many slides, one page, two page, three page, four page, slides you can do it, okay? So let's say this is going to be my first page, along with if you would like to display any testimonials or if you want user to subscribe your product, you can select as many slides as you want, okay? But we'll do that a little later when you're going to modify it. As of now, it's going to be a one slide website. Okay. Then the second option is to use the animations. What animations would you like to use? So you can use Slack based animation, Zen based animation, film strip animation, vertigo animation, okay, chain animation, zoom animation. So whenever your site loads up, you're going to get that animation. Okay. Later, you can modify that also. This is under CSS and JavaScript you're going to get. You can modify the speed and transitions and everything you can do. So as of now, let me just select the Vertigo. Okay, I've selected the Vertigo animation. Now, these are the effect settings. You can control the speed, animation elements, how to ease out, would it be a smoothing animation or is it going to be a bounce animation, a quick one? Animation should come from top or from the left, or it should be a scroll based or it should be a smooth animation. So all these effect settings you can do. Just then you need to select a top panel. So in the top panel, I would like to have my logo at the left hand side. So I select top panel 10. And at the right hand side, I'm going to have a I'm going to have a hamburger icon which will open up the menu. Okay. Then we'll go down. So you can select panel settings. Would you like to have a transparent background or a white or a black background of the menu? Okay. And how would you like the visibility to be? Would you like the product should be visible only on first slide or on last slide? Or when you scroll, it should go high. What you want to do, you can do that here. Okay. So let's say it's going to be a transparent one. It's going to be visible. Not a problem with me. And finally, choose the bottom panel. So for bottom panel, I would, I generally keep my social handles. So I'm going to select my bottom panel it is bottom panel 13. Okay. And you can do bottom panel settings as well. Okay. Bottom panel, you can set it on last slide since we have only one slide. So it will be available visible. You can set the color as white, black or transparent. Then if you have multiple slides, you can select the navigation type as well. You're going to get the dot based, arrow based or none. So navigation, I would like to keep none because I only have one slide at the moment. But in case if you select any specific shape, there are certain other options to keep the styles of the navigation. Then you have the font selection. So when you select any of these options available here, you can see this graphic change. You're gonna have the rounded, animation, you can have geometric format, you can have elegant format, you can have monospace format, whatever looks good to you. So I would like to select monospace. Okay. So I've selected monospace. And finally, we are going to grab the product. So we are done. We have done all the settings. Let's download it. 
So when you download, you're going to get the template downloaded on your machine. Moreover, there was one more option. You can preview it as well. There's a preview option. If you like the preview of the site, then you can quickly use it. So it's going to be a vertical animation with a video, with your email, password, and all that stuff. And you can modify all of the stuff. So we are going to put a background, with hospital kind of stuff. And we are going to change the logos. We are going to change the input format, which we need. We are going to connect our social handle so that we have a product, a web product. Okay. And we're going to receive the parameters from here. We send it to the model. Model is going to predict it for us and we're going to display now. Okay. Let's go for it. So we got this downloaded. Let's open this. It slides B4 2.4. I would like to show that in folder. Okay, this is your file which you have downloaded. Let's extract the file. Okay, I've extracted the file. Slides B4 2.4. And I have certain files here. There are some files which I would like to delete from here. Okay, which are not required. So I will show you what all you need to delete. So first of all, there are certain files here which are of no use. Ajax email.php, you can remove it. Open generator, you should remove it. First steps, you should remove it. SPSS, SPSS, uh, I think it's empty. Let me check. No, no, you should keep it. Manual, you can delete. Create the directory man. So, you chart unused shortcuts are could delete them, along with the Ajax. All other you have to keep. So, let's delete them. I'm going to select this one, two, three, and four. And I want to delete them. Okay. Files are deleted. Now you select all of them, copy, and save it into your casualty severity prediction project. Paste. So you've got index, SCSS, JS, CSS, assets. All the files are now available here. Okay. So this is your front end files. Okay, you have index HTML, SCSS, JS, CSS, assets. Clear? Now you have to start designing your application. Okay. So I've closed it now. I have to close this template as of now. Close the template generator as well. I'll go here. And I have to start designing. Okay. Now, modify your designs as per your product requirement. Okay, so modify getting up your designs. So go to brackets. A brackets map they open. So up the CSS files, JavaScript files, all the files are now available here. Under casualty severity project.
Okay, here. So now on the left hand side, you can see that you have got index.html, scss, js, css, and assets, which you have to use. So we'll quickly go to index.html. And now we have to start modification of the website. Okay. One of the best things which we have with brackets is a live preview system. You can select the content, you can see what code it is, you can quickly modify, and it will be displayed to you in the real time. So let's click on live preview system available at the top right corner. So there will be a live preview of your template, which you will be designing. So I would like to keep it here. Okay. So now you see, if I select the content here, if I select slides, automatically in the left hand side, my SVG gets collected. If I select mail, I directly go to the import. If I select password, my password will directly be selected. If I click here in the code, automatically the specific content will be selected at the right hand side. So we can change, modify it in the real time. So this is one of the nicest feature which I like under slides. So we'll go to the top of the code and we'll go to the title and we'll start changing it and building it. Okay. So first thing is, this is a casualty severity prediction system. So as soon as I modify it on the right hand side in the live preview, you can see that at the top, the title is going to be automatically changed. So let's design it casualty. Severity prediction system. So now that's my project, casualty severity prediction. And I've got that change at the top right corner. Now what next I see here? After this, I have a logo here, which I need to modify. Okay. So I go to this section. In fact, this section, so when I click this section, it says there is an SVG file here with a width 82 pixel, height 24 pixel, and it's a logo file here. Okay, X-Link logo with a title to slides page. So I would like to change this SVG, and I would like to use my brand logo for this product. Okay, so my brand logo is available with me. And I would like to put it under assets or images anywhere I can keep it on my project directly. Okay. So what we can do, let me just quickly select the image which I would like to use. So first of all, our image has with a logo. Okay. I have select a hat with a small here. Okay, hat with a logo one. Ye logo hai, this I would like to use as my brand product, as my product image. Okay, so I've copied this logo one and I would like to keep it in my project directly, which is C casualty severity prediction. So here for handling images, we have a directory known as assets. Okay, assets yes. Namki directory. This is handle karte hai apni images. So I'll go to assets and under images, I would like to save my logo one. Hack with a logo one I have saved. Okay. So I'll go to my brackets ID and I'll open the live preview system along with that. So I'm here. I would like to remove this SVG file from here. Okay. 
if you want to put the height width you can do that as per your requirement which is written over here 82 pixel height and 24 pixel uh, 82 pixel width and 24 pixel height aap wo kar sakte hain theek hai as per your style requirement so i would like to set the image tag here i would like to use an image tag okay image aap directly waise bhi bana sakte Let's take nail and click. So I would like to use the image tag. Within this image tag, I would like to use a source. So the source will be from the assets directory. From the images, I would like to use hack with a logo one. So this is the beauty of brackets. Okay, it will quickly grab the path for you for the files which you have, and that will make your life easy and quick. To design good products. Okay, can you see that? And if you click, you can quickly observe what image you are using. So you can see that at the top right now, I've got my logo here. Then you can quickly put the width, size. Let's say I would like to put it as eighty-two pixel. So automatically, it has set to eighty-two pixels. Okay. And I would like to change the title from slides framework to casualty severity product. Casualty severity product. So if I go here, I get the casualty severity. Or else, I can put the brand title as hack with a limit. Okay, hack with a limit. So the best part is you don't need to save it again and again. Automatically, the changes will be reflected to you on the right hand side, and just you need to focus on it. Okay, this is the best part of that. Now, let's come to the next section. Again, there is one more logo here of the slides, which again I would like to change, which uh, looks like for a height of seventy-seven pixel, somewhat like that. Okay. So I would like to modify this SVG as well. Okay, I would like to remove this SVG. Brand logo, if you want, stop it. It's also okay. Not a problem. If you want, you can put in some good uh, tag like a heading, like H1 with some format. Let's say I would like to create an H1 tag, and I would like to define it as casualty severity. Prediction system. Okay. Now, one of the best thing is the design templates with Design Modo are mobile responsive. They works on every individual device like tab, mobile phones, computers. So you save a lot of efforts and time in order to build a high quality with a UI based product with good user experience. That is one of the best part. Here you can see automatically the text is coming at the center. So as soon as the person is seeing the product, his attention is over the product. Okay. So your product will be appreciated by people if you use the standard tools that will make your products effective. Okay. Clear? Because again, people does not care about what have you done. People care only about the solution they have, how they are using. It. Okay, clear. Yeah. Now let's see. Next, we have a video here. You can see that we have a video module here, which will run a YouTube video at the back end. It could be any casualty security video which you can display. Okay, so here there is a button, which is a play button, small white color, which starts a pop up trigger. Okay. So the pop-up trigger would be available over here. We'll quickly see that. So there's a pop-up trigger, and data pop-up ID is nine. So we'll go. We'll go to that. कहाँ पे है ये data pop-up ID nine? Okay, that will be available at the bottom somewhere in the form of pop-up trigger. So we'll go that. We'll go there and we'll modify that. But before that. we have an option like start now and get free bonus on account 
So I would like to change it. Start predicting casualty severity of the victim. So let's say this could be a system available at the reception of a uh, of a clinic or a hospital wherein a patient came. People used to mark certain report, but now they can quickly take it even with a mobile. Kya hua? Okay, yeah. Automatically, the prediction will be done. Or else, to which department he should be sent to, quickly the model will respond. Okay, send him to this, send him to that department. Otherwise, doctor So there could be a system, a passive system, bounder mobile machine data okay, automatically you'll get all the suggestions of sending to this doctor, to this cabin, or to this section. So you define the that is some on available and any available. You have a data of all the people available, generally so we log in here, different doctors and the Joby profile. Depending on the availability, automatically it will predict to which doctor we should refer. So you can have live systems, and this could be a subscription-based model, anybody can use. You can have an offline kind of software ready which you can deploy. So there are so many options. So we have defined start prediction of the casualty severity. Where have I kept that? Okay, so actually, this is your YouTube video. Which we have to modify. So start predicting casualty severity of the victim. One thing I think I have missed. We have a B tag, we have a span tag. So within the span tag, I would like to modify this. Start prediction of casualty. Patients casualty. Okay. Let's say you have created a free product. Consider. So with your free product, Automatically, people will be happy to use a free ML-based product. Clear? Up there. Next, go to the bottom. So we have an input email. Now we are here. We are at the wrapper here. In the wrapper, after casualty, severity, prediction, after starting this, now you have a form. Okay. And this form has an input. Of type mail. So you have the password. So let's say you have this email. So now you have to inputs defined. Con con si values of users say plain chat. Okay. So you have certain parameters like uh, data set say, depending on your columns under the independent variables, you can quickly check that. Okay. उसके बाद आप एनालाइज करके अगर आपके पास डेटा आईक्यू में आपका प्रोडक्ट ओपन है तो आप वहां से भी देख सकते हैं कि क्या-क्या वैल्यूज -क्या आपने दिए थे किन-किन फैक्टर्स को 1 2 3 जो आपने चेंजेस किए ठीक है जैसे कि डार्क लाइट है स्ट्रीट लाइट्स हैं विद डार्क या स्ट्रीट लाइट्स विदाउट डार्कनेस विद स्ट्रीट लाइट डार्कनेस विदाउट स्ट्रीट लाइट्स वो जो भी ऑप्शंस है वो आप यहां पे ऑप्शंस में डिफाइन कर सकते ठीक है सो हम स्टार्ट करते हैं हमारे जो भी पैरामीटर्स हमें लेने हैं सो द फर्स्ट पैरामीटर व्हिच वी नीड इज द व्हीकल्स नंबर ऑफ व्हीकल्स ऑन बोर्ड ओके सो चेंज इट सबसे पहले ये जो आपका इनपुट टाइप है फ्रॉम ईमेल वी हैव टू चेंज इट टू टेक्स्ट फ्रॉम ईमेल चेंज इट टू टेक्स्ट going to be an input with an after effect from center we are going to identify this animation okay name let's call this name as vehicle okay in the placeholder you have to define number of vehicles number of vehicles okay and there is no value by default value we are going to add Okay. 
or else in case if somebody keeps it empty you can put in value of 0 in case if there is no value so you have got number of variables now you need to add one more thing to this and this will be the id of this control let's call this id of the control as vehicle id because we need to send these parameters with a request okay so yahan pe hum id de dete hain taki hum vehicle wale control ko turant apne jquery se access kare uski jo value hogi wo hum pass kare until parameter so we have got the vehicle ready now after vehicle we have certain other options after vehicle we have surface light weather victim sex ye sab hamare paas option hai we have to give an option to the user fir age will be a number and type of ye bhi hame user se as an option hame dena so when you have to give an option ab aap kya karoge ek naya control lo you have to make a select control okay you going to make a select control clear this select control will have some options let's say ab jo aapka pehla hai ye kaun sa hai this is your surface road surface okay so you have to define multiple options okay sir इसमें एक ऑप्शन होता है डिसेबल आप कर सकते हैं द फर्स्ट वन विच विल बी विच विल नॉट बी सेलेक्टेड ठीक है इसको आप डिसेबल्ड भी कर सकते फर्स्ट वन विल बी डिसेबल्ड इट विल जस्ट आस्क द टाइप ऑफ इनपुट विच यू वांट टू एंड ओके सो यहां पे होगा आपका लेट्स कॉल इट डिसेबल्ड एंड लेट्स पुट द इंफॉर्मेशन एज रोड सर्फिस ठीक है तो ये रोड सरफेस क्लिक करेंगे वो ऑप्शन हमारे पास आएगा सबसे पहले पहला ऑप्शन है रोड सरफेस और एल्स विल से सेलेक्ट रोड सरफेस ओके डिसेबल्ड आप डायरेक्टली यूज कर सकते हैं ठीक है अब इसके बाद में एवरी ऑप्शन विल हैव अ वैल्यू ओके सो दिस ऑप्शन विल नॉट हैव एनी वैल्यू इसके बाद में जो आप अगले वाले डालोगे उनके अंदर वैल्यूज होंगे ठीक है लेट्स गो फॉर द सेकंड ऑप्शन सो पहला ऑप्शन क्या है रोड सर्विस ड्राई वेट एंड फॉगी ठीक है ऐसे ही थी वी कैन चेक चेक इन द डेटा बेस ठीक है कि आपके पास कौन कौन सी यूनिक वैल्यूज हैं सो व्हाट वी कैन डू इज लेट मी जस्ट क्विकली गो टू द प्रिपेयर्ड डेटा सेट आई थिंक हमने नंबर्स में कन्वर्ट कर लिए थे तब तो हमारे को एक बार चेक करनी पड़ेगी स्क्रिप्ट आई डोंट थिंक वो पुरानी वाली अवेलेबल होगी नो स्क्रिप्ट एज इन आई मीन टू से जो हमारा डीएसएस का अकाउंट था हाँ ये ओरिजिनल है ना सो वी हैव टू ओपन दैट इन टू वी हैव टू मॉडिफाई इट की क्या क्या हमें पूछने हैं सो वॉट आई डू इज लेट से आई गो टू देवानशु शुक्ला डॉट इन फोर्ट नंबर एट जीरो एट जीरो वेल आई हैव माई डेटा आई के यू सेटअप एडमिन 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 इसके अंदर मैं एक बार दोबारा लोड कर ले रहा हूँ क्योंकि हमने आई गेस क्या पैरामीटर्स चेंज किए थे वो हमारे पुराने डेटा आई के यू अकाउंट में थे सो वी वी नीड टू चेक कि क्या पैरामीटर्स आपने डालने हैं सो लेट्स कॉल इट एज कैजुअलिटी सीवियरिटी प्रडिक्शन क्रिएट दैट 
I'll import my data set from HTTP, pass the URL, test it. I've got my accident data set created here. Okay, I'll go to the flow and I'll prepare my data. So we have deleted certain values. Okay. We have deleted these values and number of vehicles was an integer. Accident date we have deleted, time we have deleted, and road class we have deleted. We have a road surface. Analyze. So, how many road surfaces we have? Now we need to check that with the, with the data set. Okay. Let's see. Collab.research.google.com. Okay. So let's say a new Python 3 notebook let it out. You need to check a little bit. Joe Mara already prepared data set. Hai. Okay. Import pandas as pd. pd dot read csv. Okay. और यहाँ पे आपके पास शायद prepared data set भी है. Accident data set prepared. Okay, read that. Data dot head. I have not put that into data. ठीक है, we have got this data. यहाँ पे हम देख लेते हैं कितने कितने कौन कौन से unique हैं आपके पास. ये तो या we have to take up the columns. Okay. Let's say data dot columns. Data dot columns. Okay. So you have road surface. Data of road surface dot unit. You have plus one two three four four categories. Okay. So ये four categories में आपके पास drive की एक one, then you have wet, damp, S two, two, then snow and frost, three, and flood was four. Okay, so अब आपके पास जो left hand में options हैं, dry, snow, wet snow, sorry, dry, wet, snow and flood. Okay, so you can define that in your board now. So the second option would be dry road, and dry road has a value as one. Okay. So you can define it like this. You have dry road as one. So when a user will select dry road, one will automatically go in the request. Okay. Clear? Because we have to send the numbers. Next. Then we have the next option. The next option will be wet, wet road. This will be of value 
two. Then you have snow. Value as three. Snow or frost road. Okay. And then you have the next one. The next option will be flood, flooded road. Okay. So now this is how we created four options. And this is your select code. Okay, this is your one button, select button. Now in the same way, you need to make more controls. So you've got number of vehicles, and you've got road surface with the other options like dry road, wet road, snow road, or flooded road. Okay, this option is not selected. Select road surface, you cannot select it. So once selected, you are done. You have to select any of the roads. So when you select an appropriate road, the value like 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, whatever you have given in your analysis, that will go in the back. Is that clear? So we'll complete the designs in the next session and we'll integrate that with a web point. Is that clear? That's all for the day. Thank you so much for being available. In the next session, we will complete our web integration with the model. Today, you got to know how to create the APIs, but in the next session, we'll get to know how web applications are integrated with the model and you can make end-to-end -end products by analyzing, identifying the best equations, coding the equations, and then exporting your products on the web. Thank you so much.